Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I'm going to be doing an experiment today with TriArt liquid glass. Uh, they sent me a little box of samples and I pulled out some golden fluid just to uh, make a few colors because it was kind of a weird mix of colors that I would not typically pick. Like for instance there's a rose gold that doesn't really go with any of these colors to me. And then they sent me a thing of gouache which is very matte and flat and I don't want to put it in with this pour. I want to try a pour first. So I'm going to use a few of their colors that are made. They're acrylics. They're not the liquid glass. They're just acrylic colors I think. So I'm going to make myself a white And I've basically got maybe maybe an ounce of paint in each of these cups. Okay, so I thought I thought it was going to be thicker. So I'm going to add a little bit of white acrylic paint to it just to maybe thicken it up a bit. This one I want black. So these are just deco art acrylics. You could probably add two paint to it to, you know, make it really thick to, to thicken it up if you need to. So I'm going to put a squirt of uh, two paint to Thicken this one up. I don't like my paints too runny. This is also liquid glass, so it's not going to be the exact same as pouring medium anyway, but that helped thicken it up a bit. Okay, so this one would be Prussian blue. A little squirt of golden Prussian blue. Just going to add a little bit of acrylic to thicken it up a bit. It's still too runny. Put some shimmer in it. I put a squirt of iridescent medium by Artist Loft. That doesn't change the color, but it gives your color shimmer. And that helps thicken it just a bit. Cerulean blue. This has liquid acrylic. So we'll see if that's thin as well. It is, so I'm gonna add some shimmer to that if that's what I need to do. Because I, I like a certain consistency with my paints. Some people use this TriArt liquid glass as um, to kind of look like resin or to kind of you know be like a sealer, um, like using varnish. There it says brilliant purple. I'm not using a one-to-one -one ratio. I don't think I really need that much, but I am going to add a little bit of acrylic violet to paint that. This is Hansa Yellow. It's a liquid. So I'm going to add a squirt of the shimmer. And then this one, I'm going to add their um, naphthol red medium. This is a liquid, kind of like golden fluid. These all came from, the company is in Canada. 
you can get their product from Blick online in America and they have some retail stores in the northeastern part of the country. I'm going to add just a little bit of quinacridine just to drop and some shimmer to this one. I think I'd like to do oh I want to add silicone to it. Spot on treadmill lubricant I'm just going to add a healthy drop to each of the colors, not the black or white. I need 5 ounces to cover a 12 inch canvas, which is the size of this canvas. So basically half, well, pretty much about half the triart liquid and half paint roughly. Now, because it has silicone, if I did a tree ring, it's going to have cells, so that's not going to make any difference. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is put a little bit of silicone in this white. Since I'm playing with it, you know, I kind of got a little bit of mud because I have so much black. Um, so it doesn't hurt to just keep trying. The red didn't show up at all. The yellow kind of disappeared, which is fine because I'm not a huge yellow person. I'm, I'm going to mix up some more red too. And the white has silicone in it. I went ahead and added white. I'm just going to see what happens. Nothing may happen. It may become really crazy. I got a wet paper towel. It's damp. Not wet, but damp. <coughs> I'm going to bunch it up and then stretch it out between my two hands at the very end. Lay it down in the white. Just let it rest in the white. Cells galore. So I'm gonna tilt it just a little bit. So obviously the paint is a little heavier on these ends right here. Let's get that moving a bit.
stretch them out a bit. Okay. And I think I'll leave it like that. So it's nothing that, you know, just totally stands out, but it would make a pretty background for something. I will come up with something I can paint on top of it. You know, I could swipe it again, do another color and swipe it again. Should I? I'm going to stop. <laughs> if I hadn't put black in, it probably would have been so vibrant. And yeah, that was my bad. I only had eight ounce bottle and I only have a few ounces left. So I can't really do another pour on a size canvas like this. So I'm just going to leave this one as is. You can see the shimmer in it. It's very liquidy. Yeah, the, uh, the paint is too runny for a bloom. You have to add something to thicken it up. 